Hi. Nice bang. You'll be coming around in a minute. Hi, everybody. Darling, it's so nice to have you back. Thank you. Oh, not that you've been away, I've been away, but it's so nice for us to be back here, isn't it, in our little kitchen? So nice, exactly. We were together. Okay, my love. So, what you got? This is all for you. Thank You're you. on the Petronella diet, mm -hmm. and I'm on this mission to make Petronella um, fun. meals fun, sexy, and exciting. <sighs> Love sexy food. What you got, Daz? So I decided this time I'm yeah. going to do you, and, and anyone who ever complains about me never measuring anything, everything is measured. Mm. So you have 120 grams of prawns, yep. which is your protein. Yep. I'm getting really into this. Yep. And I'm going to marinate that with some turmeric, some yep. garlic, and some coriander and dill. Oh, I love dill. And then over here, yep. I'm making some kebabs. Yep. So I've got 120 grams of vegetables. Yep. And between those, apart from the lemon juice, which you allow some lemon juice, because that's actually going in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to make you a little kebab and we're going to put them on our grill. Yeah. I'm going to finish th this, a little topping for you. Yeah. Because I want it to be moist and gorgeous. Some lemon juice, some cherry tomatoes, because you're allowed two, uh, and a dash of apple cider vinegar. Lovely. And that's going into parsley and coriander. Should we get cracking? Okay, let's get going. First things first. first, things first oh. the, 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 nice the prawns are cleaned, obviously. Yeah. I just want to take that little tail off. Yeah. Now, uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because you don't like it, do you? I don't like tail. So we're just going to make them. But if you, um, am yeah. I losing some weight? Well, uh, uh, I tell you what, no, because I went just slightly over on the bases I'm taking right. tails off. Right, so. I think that's about it, actually. It's just a crispy bit you don't yeah, like. Don't okay. Like and they're all cleaned and beautiful, so that's nice. Okay. Now, in here, I'm going to put some garlic. Oh, yum. Nice yeah. bit of garlic in there. And yeah. I'm going to put uh, some seasoning. Some seasoning, some dill and coriander. I'm going to put some dill and coriander. Mm -hmm. Going in there. Remember, it's dry. Yeah. I'm going to put a little dash of lemon juice. I want to save it. I'm going to put a little dash of apple cider vinegar. Okay. I'm going to put some turmeric. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so yummy. Okay. Yeah. So turmeric. Yeah. Turmeric I quite like because that's going to give us a lovely colour. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, then I'm you going to put some... You could also put some um, saffron. You could have done some saffron. Oh, we could have done some saffron. Mm. Okay. Yum. And that is my marinade. I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to spoon that around a bit. In fact, I'm going to... Yeah. So that just is just going to sit two. there. Yeah, just going to sit there for a minute. Yeah. So. And then in the meantime, I'm now yeah. going to prepare my... Get rid of that. Pull your jets here, baby. Two skewers for you. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm working out how much we're going to have on our two skewers. So that's all. Now, this is, a, this is some of the cauliflower, which is called... I wish I could remember it. Sosalma. So I know. And I've got three pieces of broccoli, three pieces of cauliflower with two. So two pieces of broccoli on one, two pieces of cauliflower on the other. And I've got some, obviously some onion here, which I'm just working out. In fact, I think I'm going to do it that way because I want some nice chunky bits of onion. Okay. So instead of just cutting it, I'm going to peel it. I'm going to have six pieces of onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's just about threading and it's threading in whatever way you want to thread it. So let's start with a piece of courgette, shall we? Okay. And now I can bring my prawns back over here. Mm -hmm. And I've got, how many prawns have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's perfect, yeah. Okay. No, no system, whatever, however you fancy it. Actually, I'm gonna do it that way. There we are. One, two, three, another prawn. Piece of courgette. Let me put it in there. And then come back in a minute and you can see them okay. all done. It's quite hot, this griddle, which is really good. Look at that. Wow, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Chicken tree. How long's it been? Two so minutes? Two been, minutes? Oh, yeah, I think three minutes probably. But we're going to do four, four turns. Yep, okay. Really interested. I'm learning all the time about yeah. how you're cooking without oil, yeah. without any fats, without anything. It's just clean, clean cooking. Can't be any clean. clean. But we need flavour. So yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on yes. top. That's what I do with my bacon. Yeah, just a little dash of water. Yeah. Just to give it that bit of 
steaming effect, yeah. you know, so there's no, yeah, I want, uh, it won't affect it at all, it'll just add a bit of steaming and bring out the flavour of it. Mm. And it actually stops sticking as well. Yeah, well, yeah. I never thought of that one. Mm. A bit more or no? Oh yeah, yeah. So you can still see the see a rawness of the prawn in there. So we need to make sure the prawns are crunchy. And then the veg will be crunchy. I mean, I want them crunchy. The veg. I don't want them like running. And I, you can't if you overcook the veg, it's all going to fall off anyway. Yeah. Okay. Any more water? Yeah. I might do. I'm going to put a bit more water on. Yeah. I like the idea of the water. It's good, isn't it? Really good. Yummy. All those steaming veg, which is amazing. We'll do one more turn. One more turn. Final turn. Final turn. You're looking really good. You're looking amazing, eh? Look at that. How cool is that? Your minutes? Just another two or three minutes on that side and we're ready to go. Okay, so these are our two kebabs. Yeah. And you can make them with anything. Anything that you're allowed to. I'm not quite sure whether you can use pimentos. Can you use peppers? Uh, Probably it might have a bit of sugar. Be, yeah. You're not really supposed to. Okay, so let's put those on. And we're just going to cook those through wow, now. Wow, they look so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some pepper on them as well. There we are. And we're just going to dry cook those. But there's a lot of moisture. Moisture in the vegetables, moisture in the prawns, moisture in everything. So there should be enough moisture there. But if you come back over here, Donnie. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do now Right. Is I want to make you. Are you going to make little, me like a little dressing? Yeah, well, a sort of dressing. It's a sort of dressing, but there's not a lot we can use. So, this is my um, parsley and coriander. Yeah. I'm going to put that tiny little bit of vinegar in there. Yeah. I'm going to tiny put some. little bit of lemon. Sorry, some lemon juice in there. Yeah. This is a take now. And then I'm going to put some a bit more garlic in there. Garlic. Yeah. <sighs> and then I'm going to chop these two cherry tomatoes up really finely, almost like a little pulp. Yeah. Well, not quite a pole, but I want them because I actually want the juice. So we want all that juice because I need a bit of liquid. Yeah. So I'm just going to put all that in there like that. And I'm just going to put some salt in there in a minute and well, and that will just make it bleed. Do you remember the story yeah. about making vegetables make it bleed, bleed? Yeah, make your tomatoes and veg bleed. So we'll get that. And then this is just, the idea of this is this was going to be spooned over the top of the kebabs. Yeah. So that gives you your sort of moisture, and then you'll get your char effect with the... There we are. That's in there. Then I wash my hands, I'll put some salt on there, and okay. then we're ready to go. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, so let's bring them over here. Okay. Oh. Well, the edge flying. Wow, look at that. Amazing. That was amazing. No fizzle. fat, and then this no was all. that, um, that all Looking that is, that. is the salt, tiny bit of lemon juice, but look at the water out of the tomatoes. Mm, so getting all that moisture. So all we're going to do is just drizzle it over the top. Yum. The garlic and the coriander. There's a fly. Oh, good Lord. Well, I'm Australian, they just come, they hang around. And that is one of your 16 days, isn't it? There you go, Dancy. Done. There we go. I think that looks so pretty. I'm very happy. Okay, everybody. Well, enjoy one of your 16-day dishes from Dazzler. <laughs> Lots Thanks, of love. Baby.